Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. For today's video, I am going to do a review of my newest handbag purchase, which is the Chloe Faye medium day bag in the color brown and when I was buying it a few weeks ago I wanted to go on YouTube and look up other reviews and see what everyone thinks about it and this specific size and I only found one other video which wasn't um, really very much detailed it was just someone selling the bag and talking about why she's selling it but I didn't really find any reviews and so I wanted to film one myself in case you are interested in this bag because they are I feel like very popular popular now and they come in all different sizes they have a mean mini small and medium I don't know if they have a large I don't I think the medium is the biggest and so I figured why not do one myself and let you know what I think I haven't worn it out yet because I was waiting a to do this video and then b when I got it in the mail I felt kind of guilty for buying it because I have three brown Louis Vuitton bags and I'm like do I really need another brown bag? But I decided to keep it because I do love it. I love how it looks. I love how it works. Overall functionality of it. And also I got it at a really, really good deal. Um, I think I got it, where was it? Neyman Marcus or Berg of Goodman. They had after Christmas sales on all handbags, uh, not all handbags, but they had like a handbag section of sales with additional 15% off and there was like a bunch of different discounts that applied and I ended up paying so much less than I would retail like regular price for this. Um, and I just feel like it's way too good of a deal to even think about returning it. So I'll go over everything, what it looks like on the outside, on the inside, all of that. And hopefully if you are interested in this handbag, it will be helpful to you. I will insert a little clip right here so you can see what it looks like on. So as you can see, even though it's a medium, I don't feel like it's a huge one. I don't feel like the medium is too big. They do come in a mini and a small, like I said, and I feel like the medium is just more... For me personally, I mean, the other two sizes are great as well, but the medium is just more... I guess realistic for like every day when you need a lot of things with you when you need like a notepad maybe an ipad your keys your big wallet a water bottle like all of those things this is better i feel like for every day um if you do have a bunch of things that you carry with you at all times for me it's just the most neutral color i do do i have a black bag i don't even think i do i I literally cannot remember if I have a black bag. I have a uh, Marc Jacobs black bucket bag and I have a lot of brown bags and I just keep buying them because to me it's just the most universal and it goes with um, summer clothes and winter clothes. Black, unless it's like a small crossbody, I don't usually wear black in the summer, but brown I think it's just all year round uh, perfect color. The leather is really nice i don't think it would be easily scratchable i tried scratching a little part of it like right in here in the pocket just to see if it'll scratch easily and it didn't it has the signature chloe hardware this ring is very very light yellow gold almost maybe even platinum the buckle itself is silver and then this is all gold which you really honestly can't even tell like it looks like it could be gold if you think it's gold it could be silver you really there isn't a huge difference in the colors of the hardware it all looks very similar but i think the fact that it is gold and silver makes it easier to kind of wear with different accessories of different colors um then the zippers are more visibly silver they're a little bit more yellow than this is and um then the buckles and the hardware here on the sides is gold and then it's gold up here too so the only silver part is just this buckle itself not even this part of it just the actual buckle and then it has a pocket in the back it has a big pocket which i love because it's perfect for your phone when you're running around and you don't want to have to open the bag and search for it this is where i would keep it i got a bag for my husband for christmas i got the um Tory Birch, I don't remember the name of it, but it has a bucket, bucket. It has a pocket in the back like that as well, and I always keep my phone in there. It has a handle here, which I think is awesome. I really love this handle. It fits under your shoulder, but you can also hold it like this, and I just think it's such a convenient 
um, handle to have. A lot of bags that I have, they don't have a top handle like this. And I always wish every bag that I have that doesn't have a top handle, I always wish it did because it just would make it so much easier to just grab faster and go. And I don't always want to wear it crossbody or on the shoulder, even though this itself does fit on your shoulder. The only thing that's kind of hard in this bag, which could be a plus or a minus is that it's kind of hard to open so it'll be a pain for you until you get a hang of it but also it'll make it harder if you're traveling somewhere if you're somewhere where you think someone might want to go into your bag and steal something they will not be able to do it like they will not get into this bag ever so you are totally safe to go in crowds go to rome go whatever and you don't have to worry about someone stealing from your bag so the way that you open it so i'll show you what it looks like so it looks like this. And the way that you have to open it is you have to pull out and then down. It's, so it's not like a magnet that you just pull up and open. You have to first pull it and then push it down. So it does make it a little bit difficult to go in and out. Um, I feel like I got the hang of it. I haven't even worn it out. And just from me playing around and figuring out like the fastest way to do it, I got a good hang of it and I don't think it's gonna be a problem. But it, I definitely could see how it could be annoying to some of you. Um, the inside is suede and it's more of like this orangey suede. And I still have the papers in here. And it looks like this. So it is fabric on the inside. It's not suede all throughout. And it has a zipper pocket. Again, if you want something to be extra secure, your wallet, um, you know, your car keys, things like that. Then it has two pockets here. And, um, and that's it, right? Yeah. So that's all the pockets that it has. And then what I like about it too, which is a good, I feel like it's one of my favorite design features is that it can open up like this. So if you stuff it a little more, it will show like that orange suede here on the sides, which I think looks so nice. I love that. It kind of reminds me of the Philip Lim Pashley bag that opens on the sides as well. It normally doesn't really like open up on its own but if you do stuff it it will and then you'll see this nice suede on the side um it is slouchy so it's not a very if you like structure bags you're not gonna like it this is very slouchy um but i like it because i feel like it just gives it a more of a casual everyday type of vibe um and my other favorite feature is the hardware i think that's what distinguishes chloe from all the other designers, you can't hold it by the chain. It really doesn't do anything except for give it like that extra design feature and just something a little more. A lot of Chloe bags, if not, maybe even all of them or most of them, not that there's a Mar Marcy, I think. I think it's called Marcy that don't have this, but most of the other Chloe bags, they do have this chain and the ring on them as well. This I think is my favorite design. One thing that might bother some of you is the fact that when you hold it by the top handle, it kind of pulls here on the top of the um, of the flap, which I don't know how it's going to hold up over years, if it's going to stretch out the bag or create some permanent wrinkles or anything like that. Um, I don't really, care about that too much honestly i treat it more of like a casual bag everyday type of bag um so to me it really doesn't matter too much if it does stretch out a little bit and what else it doesn't have the actual hardware it doesn't have chloe on it anywhere it doesn't say it on the lock it doesn't say it on the buckle or really anything i know for example louis vuitton um ysl other a lot of other brands do have the name engraved on the hardware chloe apparently does not um so the only place that it says chloe is right here and then here on the inside and then when you want to verify that it's a real bag if you are ever i don't know if you're ever unsure if you buy one off ebay and you don't know if you bought a authentic handbag it has the code on here so it's really hard to actually see it and read the numbers but it has it here and i think that's the only place that it has a code i don't see really of any other places so if you want to verify it that's probably where you would look and mine still has the tag on it but it's on the inside so i don't really care maybe i'll keep it in case i ever want to sell it just looks like this and then you open it 
and it'll tell you the price and the name of the bag. So, so yeah, that's it for my review. I hope you found it helpful if you're looking at this handbag. I personally love it. Like I said, I haven't carried it out. I probably will today, but up until now, I haven't just because I wanted to make this video and I was kind of like questioning whether or not I should keep it for sure. If you have any questions, leave them below. I'll try to answer the best I can. And it comes with, I forgot to mention, it comes with a dust bag like this and it doesn't have a box, at least when you buy it from a, um, like a middleman like Nemo Marcus or Nordstrom or anything like that. It doesn't come with a box. Also one thing to keep in mind, if you are buying it from a department store, I would avoid Nordstrom just because of my past experience. I've noticed a lot of the bags they've sent me that I purchased there were either pre-owned um, returns used by maybe bloggers that they returned it and they didn't have like the original wrapping, the dust bag, a lot of them didn't come with the dust bag and stuff like that. So I would definitely recommend Neiman Marcus or Bergdorf Goodman. That's where I buy my bags. I don't buy them at Nordstrom anymore. That's just a little thing. I do love Nordstrom and I shop there a lot, but when it comes to designer handbags, I just always found that they always seem to be pre-owned before I got them. So yeah, that's it for my review. I hope you found it helpful and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.